more involved patriotism is frowned upon as an adherence to a policy of non-compromise and force. Indeed, one is now expected to be more conversant with the teachings of Chairman Mao than in those of our dead patriots. Bards and McCormick were not intellectual. They were just ordinary working class lads who looked upon it as our duty to right Ireland's wrong. Can we assume that most of you who are assembled here today consider their cause and their methods just unnecessary? Or will you assemble afterwards in small groups, the more progressive as some of you like to be called, and speak of these poor misguided men, and then propagate your ideas as to how Ireland's freedom can be attained without fighting, without suffering, and without martyrdom? From the graves of patriot men and women spring living nations said here, may we hope that from these graves of Barnes and McCormick will emanate a combination of the old and new spirit, a spirit that will inspire men and women with the noble idealism of fears, the social and economic philosophy and aims of family, and the fighting and courageous heart of battle through, a spirit that will ensure the final completion of the task which our martyrs were compelled to leave unfinished. That is how Barnes and McCormick can best be honoured. That is how they would wish to be honoured, because that is why they lie in a martyr's grave today.